Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and Mac OS Ventura 13.4 released to the public. This is available everywhere around the world at the exact same time and was released on all the same devices that support Mac OS 13 or Mac OS Ventura. This was released alongside a bunch of other updates such as iOS 16.5, watchOS 9.5 and many others. And this particular update came in at 1.59 gigabytes. It was about one to two gigabytes, depending on the device, MacBook Pro or Mac Studio. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the build number and we'll talk about what's new as there are some new features and updates. Now, if we go to the Apple in the upper left, go to about this Mac, you can see the build number if we click here on Ventura 13.4 is 22F66. There were quite a few betas leading up to this point. This is the same version as the last release candidate, release candidate three, which is the exact same thing. If you want to leave the beta program, you can do that. You'll already be on the current update. Now let's take a look at the first feature and that has to do with Apple news. If we go into Apple news, once we're in news, click on the left, we have a new sports section. This sports section has a different feed of different things you might be following and also has different scores and schedules. If there's one that's currently live or you want to see one that's passed, click on it and you can open it in Apple TV and it will bring you right to that game. It will show you where you can watch it or you can watch it live when it's available. So you can see here, it's taking a moment to load. So you can see here, this is the next game and it shows different games below that may be interesting. And so that's all new in my sports. Also, if you go back into news, you'll see here in the top under all sports in the upper right we have different options to choose what to follow. So we have everything from motorsports to rugby to esports and Olympics. You can pick what you want and hopefully they'll add even more in the future. So that's all new within the news app. And while there aren't a whole lot of features in this update, there are more fixes in this update than features. If we go into our system settings and then we go under our user ID and password, under that, we have the option to use our Apple watch to unlock the Mac. There were continuous issues with this that they've now resolved in here to allow you to log into the Mac properly using your Apple watch. So if you have this option turned on, you can then use that and it should work as intended. They've also fixed an issue with Bluetooth, and this has actually been happening to me quite a lot where the magic keyboard wouldn't connect properly after a reboot or restarting your Mac. This should be resolved now and it should connect much faster. Bluetooth keyboards. Hopefully that is also for the mouse and trackpads and other devices as well. They've also fixed an issue in accessibility with voiceover. If you're using voiceover to navigate to landmarks on web pages, sometimes that wasn't working properly. That should be working as it's intended. They've also fixed an issue within screen time. Within screen time, if you have this enabled, they've fixed an issue where it will now sync properly across all of your devices. iOS 16.5 also resolves this issue. So make sure you have those updates installed. If you're using screen time, it will now sync properly across all the different devices, Mac, iPad, iPhone. Now there's also some security updates in Mac OS 13.4. If we go to Apple's security website and on Apple's security updates website, and I'll link this in the description. If we scroll down, we can see all of the latest updates and they even updated Safari 16.5. But if we go into Mac OS Ventura 13.4, you can see here, there are a lot of different updates, everything from accessibility. And I've gone through this just a little bit before to see what they had, but kernel, which is the underlying code of the OS metal network extension and much, much more. And if you're curious about how this actually reads, the impact is the issue where it says photos belonging to the hidden photos album could be viewed with authentication through visual lookup. To fix this, the issue was addressed with improved checks. And then this is the CVE number and who may have reported it. And as we scroll down, you'll see there's many, many more. And so if you're wondering if you should install Mac OS 13.4, I would highly recommend it for all of these different security updates. These are making things more secure for your OS in general. So definitely install it for that. The same is true if you're not on Mac OS 13.4 and you've decided to stay on the older versions, they're providing similar security updates with Monterey 12.6.6 and Big Sur 11.7.7. So lots of security updates with this update. Now, as far as the overall performance, I've been using this on one of my editing Macs regularly. I've had no issues with things such as Final Cut Pro, Photos, I use Pixelmator, I use Craft a lot. Of course, Mail and Safari and Chrome, all of them seem to be performing as you would expect. As far as battery life, well, this is a MacBook that I'm currently recording on, but if we go down to battery, 
You won't see this, of course, if you're on a Mac Studio or something else, but I normally leave it plugged in. But if we scroll down and see the last 10 days, I've left it plugged in and it manages the battery itself while it's plugged in. So it's plugged into a Mac Studio display and battery health is normal. I'm at 95%. It's actually been plugged in most of the time. Sometimes I use it, but I've really noticed no issues. It will last me easily while editing a full video and then some. So it seems to be doing pretty well that way. As far as any other updates, well, this is pretty small. So at this point, I don't expect anything else when it comes to features until Mac OS 14, Apple will show that off in June, usually WWDC June 5th, and then they'll release it to the public typically in September or October, usually around the launch of iPhone 15 or whatever the next iPhone and Macs are. So we'll have betas for the next few months with different features. Of course, we'll see what those features are on June 5th. I'm not expecting a whole lot with Mac OS 14. And so that's everything with macOS 13.4, just a few bug fixes and a ton of security updates. Let me know if you found anything else in the comments below. If you'd like to get your hands on this wallpaper, of course, I'll link it in the description like I normally do. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.